The fingerprint scanner is a novelty for Xperia Z5 class smartphones. It is embedded in the side-mounted power key on the Xperia Z5 Compact, Z5 and Z5 Premium, but how does it really perform in real life? Let's check it out in this quick video. I'm Anton Dinod, let's dive into it. Having a side-mounted fingerprint scanner can be awkward, or it can be the perfect placement. We've heard both sides of the story, but in the end, its placement isn't as relevant and important as its performance. We've been extensively testing the Xperia Z5 Premium for more than a week now, and we can say that the fingerprint scanner is a hit or miss. Its rate of success, in our experience, is about 2 out of 10. Whether it's a software, hardware or implementation issue, we simply couldn't find it consistent and reliable enough to keep it activated, so we decided to ditch it, not before showing you the problems you'll face when using it. After successfully registering fingers, a number of 5 are available, the phone simply stops recognizing them randomly. Aside from reliability issues, this also kills one-handed operation in certain scenarios, whether you're driving or carrying something. After five failed attempts, the system locks and requires you to input your PIN. Initially, we were inclined to believe that this was an isolated issue, maybe a problem with our unit, and maybe it is, or maybe it's just a small batch problem, but both Twitter users and Sony blog posters on the company's support page confirmed and complained that they have the same problems. First of all, the scanner needs to be clean. Take this in a very strict way. We're not talking about thick grease or dirt, we are talking about previous fingerprints from a single touch that can render the scanner unusable. So, if you really need or want to use the scanner, make sure you add an extra step to your unlocking procedure. Wipe it off. Every time. And, since this is a waterproof phone, forget about unlocking while your fingers, the phone, or both are wet or even moist. But, you know, we could live with that if dry operation and performance was better. We also tried registering the same finger several times just to improve its success rate. Needless to say that this did not help either. We really hope Sony manages to fix this issue, if it is fixable via software, and we also hope that this is, if indeed a widespread problem, confined and limited to a small batch. You know, for Sony's sake. Do you have an Xperia Z5 class smartphone? Do you experience the same problems? Drop us a comment below. I've been Anton Dinoy, and as usual, thank you for watching and see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and follow PocketNow everywhere on the internet.